I call the honourable member for Fisher. Thanks, Madam uh, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Education, representing the Minister for Employment. I refer the Minister to the report in the Herald Sun on the 17th of March, revealing that the building industry whistleblower Andrew Zaff was stabbed outside his home. I also refer him to a separate incident reported in the West Australian, in which the CMFEU's Joe McDonnell put a worker in a headlock and threatened to hit him. How do these incidents underline the importance of the government's plan to protect workers? I call the honourable the Minister for Education representing the Minister for Employment. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I can confirm to the member for Fisher that both these incidents did occur. Uh, both these incidents referred to by the member for Fisher are obviously very unfortunate ones. The member for Grandler thinks it's hilarious, apparently. He thinks it's hilarious that Andrew Zaff was stabbed in Grandler. his home and hit with a piece of wood last weekend. Uh, the minister will resume his seat. The uh, leader of the opposition on a point of oh, order. There's no doubt in my mind that the minister for education has just impugned uh, one of our members. He should withdraw that. No one finds that stuff hilarious. The minister will resume his seat. The, mini the member will resume his seat. The member will resume his seat. If you're offended, you can deal with it later, not now. Resume your seat or leave under 94A. Resume your seat. Resume your seat. Leave immediately under 94A. Leave under 94A. Forthwith. The, uh, the member has withdrawn, but the member for Grainder will leave. The minister has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And so that it's on the record, I withdraw if the member for Grainder is offended. But the fact remains. I withdraw. The manager of opposition business will resume his seat. Oh dear. The member for Grainler said he was offended. The member has withdrawn what he said. There is no need for the member for Parramatta to add her voice, or she may leave too. The minister will resume his seat. Manager of Opposition Business. Madam Speaker, to add any conditions to a withdrawal is contrary to practice. And that is exactly what your side is trying to do. The minister has withdrawn. The Minister Mr. Speaker, has the call. I am happy to, reserve, to withdraw unreservedly. The will My advice to the leave. opposition would be Good. that when Under someone is discussing eight. the stabbing and of a whistleblower, like general a laughter the in the chamber and from particular people can be misinterpreted. The Minister will resume his seat. Before the member leaves, she will withdraw what she said. I withdraw. Now she may leave. The Minister has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I was reporting that Andrew Zaff, a whistleblower who has exposed union corruption, was stabbed on the weekend outside his home, and that Joe McDonnell, the Assistant Secretary of the CFMEU in Western Australia, has been banned from multiplex sites in Western Australia for three years, one of the reasons for which, reported in the West Australian newspaper, was that he put a particular worker in a headlock and threatened him to hit him. Now, both of these incidents highlight why it is important for the government's legislative agenda to be agreed to by the Senate rather than blocked by the opposition. Both of these incidents show why union thuggery and corruption needs to be stamped out in Australia. They show why the government's Australian Building and Construction Commission legislation should be passed in the Senate, not blocked by the Leader of the Opposition. They show why the Registered Organisations Commission bill that sits in the Senate should be passed by the Labor Party rather than blocked in the Senate. They show why the Royal Commission, headed up by Dyson Hayden, should be supported by the opposition rather than opposed at the time. So the government is taking firm action, Madam Speaker. We are introducing the Australian Building and Construction Commission, the Registered Organisations Commission, a Royal Commission. The Leader of the Opposition's response has been to say that that bikey members who turn up to work sites should Morton. not wear their colours. Now, we think a much firmer response is required. We want to put a tough industrial cop on the beat, not the fashion police on the beat, Madam Speaker. The problem with the Leader of the Opposition 
is that he's a union leader protecting union leaders. He's running a protection racket for a protection racket, and he needs to rise above his background.